In this uh, project, we're uh, trying to make good use of the sun uh, for generation of bulk power. And we reflect the uh, sun's rays using a parabolic dish onto uh, the hot portion of a heat engine. And we use that collected heat then to turn the engine and that in turn turns a generator and generates grid electricity. Your engine in your car is a heat engine. It basically takes heat and converts it to mechanical energy. In your car, we call it an internal combustion engine. In our case, it's an external combustion engine. We ex expand gases inside the engine, but we do it by applying heat externally. So we have an array of tubes that the sunlight is focused on, and that, expand that has a gas flowing through it, and that gas expands, and that moves the piston which in turn turns the crankshaft. I've been working in uh, concentrating solar power, mirror technology, uh, for 20 years. We figured if we made a better heat engine or a better receiver for that heat engine, the part that receives the energy and transfers it to the engine, that uh, the, the right components would bring the right people together and somebody would make a system. Sterling Energy Systems has taken up a, an old technology from the early 80s and they're modernizing that technology, putting some of our uh, best technologies into that system and developing it into a commercial product. They are looking at bulk power generation, whereas in the past we've imagined dish sy systems would be used for uh, remote or end of the line grid applications with one or two dishes in a, a single facility. Uh, SES's approach is radically different in that they want to deploy as many as 20,000 dishes in one location. One of the keys to our success here is our collaboration with Sterling Energy Systems. Uh, no money is crossing the threshold. Uh, we are providing in-kind engineering services to SES and they've put most of their engineering staff here on site in a technology incubator to learn about the hardware and to develop it in cooperation with Sandia. But SES is picking up the bulk of the, the uh, finances for the system. They own the hardware and they pay their engineers. There's no contract in place. So it's an exciting way to do business. It's different than anything we've done before, but it looks like it's an effective way for technology transfer to occur.